single. <laughs> I ain't worried about none of that. So y'all can keep, keep talking this divorce shit. Nah, they ain't got nothing to do with nothing. I'm working. I'm working hard. Divorce over. She signed her life away. Let's get to the money. All right? Boo-boo, hit me up. Man, I really hope this is not what this is made out to look like or what it's... I don't know. I, ho I hope... Uh, man, we f I'm finna speak on it. Check, check this out, though. Oh man, what's good, what's good is the one and only, but what do I know, boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man, so we got Jamal Charlo in the news, oh my goodness, it look, I don't know, from what it looks like, I don't know, and I'm hoping that I'm wrong, but I'm guessing that I, I, it looks like it seems to be more trouble in paradise, I mean, as you guys can see, is he's walking around his home that apparently they're moving out of, or whatever the situation may be. I don't know if that move, I wouldn't move out of that house if I was him because I mean he got a whole like facility maybe I don't know whose house that was but it's like a because I know he has like a whole facility like a basketball gym a boxing gym a bowling alley all like in his backyard or like a building behind the town I don't so I don't know but uh from what it looks like man like you know it, it's like holes in the wall and all that type of stuff as you guys saw I'm hoping that Jamal Charlo is still not going through this mess, man. Um, because from you know, if you guys remember, he was he had went on that two and a half year uh, layoff because you know he was having issues and difficulties with his wife or whatnot. Some of the, you know, that's not the sole reason. You know, he, he had mental health issues and and a lot of that was stemming from uh, his wife or whatever the situation may be. And um, you know, it, it seemed as though they had gotten back together. They was with each other um, last year. If you guys remember the whole situation with uh, Charlo and, and, and uh, Kayla Plant, his wife was actually there. Like his wife was with him. Um, his wife and him, his wife, his wife and Jamel's wife got into a fight. Like it, it kind of got. That's embarrassing, but it seemed like they had got back together or whatnot and now i guess i don't know you know his car is wrecked his house is you know got holes in. it seems like you know it, it, that it's back to be having troubles he, he's back to having trouble in paradise and um you know listen bro i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna I'm I'm give my take on it and i'm gonna just you know it is what it is because i mean this is one of the the things about it man you got to separate yourself from anything that's slowing you and hindering you in life, bro. And the sad part about it is, bro, we, you know, this is affecting his career. I mean, think about it, bro. Jamal Charlo hasn't fought since last year in November. And that was his first time fighting in two and a half years. So, like, just think about that for a second. And then also, you got to think about, like, it's, man... The, the, he's he's trying to negotiate a fight with Demetrius Andre. Now I heard that they were trying to push for him to fight uh, that dude. Uh, his nickname is Cornflake. Uh, I think uh, Arizlandi Lara fought him. Uh, they were trying to, to to negotiate a fight for him to go ahead and fight him next or whatnot. Um, but it's it's looking like Jamal Charlo wants to fight Demetrius Andre. He's kind of adamant on uh, pushing the fight with Demetrius Andre now. Al Heyman is sick from what I heard. Uh Al Heyman is uh he, he's not doing so well. 
um, or whatever the situation may be. So I don't I don't know what's going to come out of this, but um, it, it's it's looking like I don't, I don't know uh, what Jamal Charlo is going to do next. But he they say for sure the only thing they can guarantee is that he will be fighting on the Tank Davis undercard or whatever. And that's good news. He needs to stay busy. Fighters like Jamal Charlo, or people like Jamal, what I said, fighters like Jamal Charlo need to be active. The more active they are, the less that time, uh, the less uh, time they have to worry and stress on uh, other things. As you guys know, he just got had uh, got arrested in May for a DWI um, and a hit and run. Um, and, uh, you know, he... You know, he's just been going through a lot, man. And you know what they say, the uh, idle mind is the devil playground or whatnot. So I, I really hope that J Jamal can uh, get it together. And I, I really hope that, you know, you know, this situation uh, with his wife, uh, it, just, it just needs to get resolved. Because, I mean, this is a, it's, it just seems like they're very toxic or whatnot. And um, I can also remember that, uh, you know, if you guys don't know, I, from it's been speculated heavily that uh this is the reason why him and jamel are, are uh had a fallout because you know obviously jamel um he is very vocal about him not being fond of jamal's wife you know he really does they don't they don't he doesn't like her uh he even stated um they had they went live together and uh jamal was they was at this restaurant jamal and his wife and uh they had went live or whatnot and um Jamal it was I forgot what uh you know he you know Jam Jamel kept telling him like bro she looking for attention but he he Jamel told him in the live he was like I told you not to marry her and um so you know this is something that's been going on for a long for for a while now obviously um in Jamal's situation they have five kids together so you know you can't blame it's it's easy for us to sit on the outside and be like well you shouldn't get back to get back with her but they've been together since they were in high school and you know they have um five kids together you know what i'm saying um so it's it, you know obviously that's what's gonna happen um you know you want to try to you don't you know you want to try to make that work and you know the saying the saying is uh it's cheaper to keep her but you know at, at this point at, at some point you kind of have to realize like bro this is taking a, a toll on you know me and i, I know for a fact it has to be taken a uh, toll on, on on all five of those children that y'all have um and you know and and it's taking a toll of your career you know you you're the you're the provider you know what i'm saying so you uh what you what you know in boxing is a is a sport where anything outside can will will ain't no can but will definitely have an impact inside the ring so you know it's it's just a sad situation man um i hope that jamal can get it together because i mean i don't know bro how much longer he has to keep doing this man these fighters are going inactive and stuff and that is hurting their career um if you think that them being inactive is helping us you're crazy no like them being out of the ring not you know that them losing focus this stuff is hurting their career and jamal charlo was once a, a just a you know a, just you know he was he, he still is a great i mean a good fighter i don't know if he's a great fighter yet but uh still a very good fighter but you know it's, it's just so much going on man and um it's just it's just a lot he has a lot going on and i just i don't I don't know if, um, and now, you know, he's moving. If you guys didn't know, uh, he, he'll be making his debut at 168 pounds or whatnot. Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much, you know, how well he does. <laughs> Seeing how he's uh, not, he just has a lot going on. I mean, the one now, one, fortunately for him, uh, the, you know, the, the, biggest threat out of one out of 168 is now moved up to 175 and that's david benavidez um but unfortunately for him uh caleb i mean canelo alvarez still holds three out of four out of the four titles at 168 pounds so i don't know how likely it'll be for him to be a three division world champion as long as you know canelo alvarez has those busts because i just i've I never and, and this is even before the whole two year or two and a half year layoff. I just never seen. Uh, I don't. I don't see Charlo beating Canelo Alvarez. I just don't. Um, 
but there is rumored that should he i don't even know actually i don't even think it's rumored it's me speculating should he get past his fight in november he'll probably get a fight with and no probably i think he is going to get a fight with uh canelo in may that's just my speculations though or whatnot but um you know i just don't with all this going on he just does not i don't really think he has a um a high shot at beating canelo um not at this point not you know especially not at this point so um i I don't don't know i don't know what he does from from here but i I sure hope he can get it together because you know he um you know this is it just seems like it's very toxic and uh obviously jamel saw this coming a mile away that's why he kind of stayed he stayed from what i heard from what i heard that's why he uh you know is kind of like distant from her or whatnot but anyways, man, I, I really hope and pray everything um, works out in, in his best. Uh, I hope Jamel Char- or Jamal Charlo can get it together. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. What do you think about Jamal Charlo and his wife? Do you feel like this is another turmoil for Jamal Charlo? But what do I know?